Hi friends, uh, this is Professor Prashant. Uh, today we will start with fourth chapter that is refraction of light through plane surface. Now uh, in this chapter we are dealing with what is light. Now light is a form of energy which is propagated in the form of transverse electromagnetic waves. Now since they are electromagnetic they do not require medium for the propagation. Now in this chapter we are dealing with a uh, first part that is what are laws of refraction so for that we'll go with first say this is our glass slab this is the incident ray but this light is incident that is called as what normal incidence and for normal incidence your angle of incidence and angle of refraction will be what you see this is the first part now we are not dealing with normal incidence we will go with the oblique incidence. Now this is my glass slab. Right? This is a glass kept in what air? So this is your rarer medium and this is your denser medium. Now say ray of light is incident on this. So this is the incident ray, incident obliquely. So I will draw normal over here. This is the normal drawn. Like this path of incident ray, if this glass slab is not there, the path of incident ray will be like this. This is the incident ray. Now this ray is going from rarer to denser. So it will bend towards normal. So this is towards normal. Now I will draw normal over here. Now it is going from denser to rarer. So it will go away from normal. Right? Now this is the angle of incidence I. This is the angle of refraction R. This is angle of refraction R and this is emergent ray makes an angle E with the normal. So this angle is called delta. This delta is called as what angle of deviation. This is called as what angle of deviation. Over here this delta is what I minus R where I is greater than R. It could be ulda R minus I if R is more than I. That depend upon whether the light is going from rarer to denser or denser to rare. So in this we are assuming refraction is from rarer to denser. Over here it is from denser to rare. So I will consider only the this part that is rarer to denser. Now over here I will write. Or I will remove this part. I will write here what are laws of refraction. Now for laws of refraction will lot laws of refraction is also known as Snell's laws of refraction. Snell's laws of refraction. Now what are two laws? First law says your incident ray, normal and refracted ray. They all lie in what? Same plane at the point of incidence. They all lie in what? Same plane at the point of incidence. Second law says the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant and that constant is nothing but 1 mu 2 so I will read this as refractive index of second medium with respect to first it is what refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium now if it is going from air to glass, so I will write this is equal to A mu G. So I will write this A mu G as refractive index of glass with respect to what air. Refractive index of what? Glass with respect to air. This is what? One part. Now, what is the perpendicular distance between these two? That perpendicular is what? X1. It is xy, this xy is called as lateral displacement. It is called as what? Lateral displacement. What is lateral displacement? It is a perpendicular distance between the emergent ray and the path of incident ray. Lateral displacement. Now this lateral displacement depends on two three factors. Angle of incidence, thickness of this glass lamp and third is a refractive index. Now, this refractive index is the optical density of that medium with respect to that rarer medium. So, over here, this refractive index is constant for a given pair of medium. 
So if I write a mu g, so this is 1.5 which is fixed. If I write a mu w, that is refractive index of water with respect to air, is 4 by 3 which is 1.33. And if I take diamond, so it is a mu d, it is 2.41. These values are constant for a given pair of medium. Now there are two important terms. Now here, what is absolute refractive index and second will be relative refractive index. So what is absolute? So before that, we can write this refractive index like this. Refractive index can be written as this is A mu G is 1 sin I upon sin R. This is one form which is also equal to VA upon VG. What is VA? It is the speed of light in air to what speed of light in what glass? This is one part. Now we have in 9th standard V is equal to F into lambda where f is frequency, lambda is a wavelength. So right here, Va is equal to f into lambda i. Vg is f into lambda g. Now, f is a frequency which is constant for a given pair of medium. Now, over here, frequency remains same. So I can write this is a mu g is equal to what? This is f into lambda a upon f into lambda g. ff cancel. So this is lambda a upon lambda g. So we can write here, therefore, refractive index mu is inversely proportional to velocity and it is inversely proportional to wavelength. Now, next part, what is absolute refractive index? The word is absolute refractive index. And second term is the relative refractive index. The word absolute is with respect to air. So, if I write a mu g, a mu w, a mu d, all these are what absolute refractive index. If it is with respect to air, so it is called as absolute. What is relative? If it is with respect to, it is going from rarer to denser or denser to rarer, but the medium is other than air. Say so write your W mu G. This is a refractive index of glass with respect to water. So I can write this is equal to this is this is equal to V W upon V G. Now I will just multiply by VA and divide by VA. Any problem with this? No. So, can I write this is equal to VA upon VG? I will just take this part first. And here I am writing this is VA upon what? VW. This is VW. Now, what is VA upon VG? It is nothing but A mu G. What is? This is 1 upon. So, I write here into. 1 upon. What is VA upon VW? Is A mu W. So I can write here therefore W mu G is equal to what? A mu G upon what? A mu W. This is one important relation. You may have numerical based on this part. Now next part will be what? In case of thick mirror, how many images are formed? This is how many images are formed. And out of that, which image is the brightest? This is the first question. Now, this is our thick mirror. Right? This is the thick mirror. Since this is a mirror, this part is shaded. This is the light source. So, S is the source of light. This is the first incident ray. It will get reflected back in the same direction. There will be the image form. Now, say, this is the oblique incidence. Light is incident obliquely over here. The part of this light is reflected. This is the reflected light. So this is the image form over here. Let it be A1. Now next part will be this is the refracted ray over here. Now since this is a mirror, we assume that it's a perfect reflection. So it will reflect it like this from here. Again there is a refraction. So the image over here form will be your A2. Again the same process will go on repeating. There will be reflection, refraction on that part. So we get multiple images A2, A3, A4 and so on. Right? So out of that, this second image is the brightest. 
Why? Because it is formed due to first strong reflection from the silvered surface. It is formed due to what? First strong reflection from the silvered surface. So they can ask question from this. Now that's that's it for this uh, video. In this part you have studied main parts will be water laws of refraction. What is lateral displacement? On what factor it depends? What is the refractive index? Now refractive index is the ratio of two similar quantities. So no unit is a pure number. Now that's it for this video. Thank you.